beautiful people, Mani Zumi here, and I'm back with a new video. This week, we are doing something a little different. So I had this idea. I thought, it, wouldn't it be cool to do like a character design video, but using Pokemon as inspiration? So what I wanted to do was basically to design a basic five-man fantasy RPG lineup. This is the first video in a five-part series. In this video, I will be drawing up the Archer character of the group. So I put in some rules in place just to, like, to make this a little bit more interesting for myself. So, rule number one. I have to use a randomizer to choose the Pokemon I will be using as inspiration. Rule number two. I have to use all of the colors of the Pokemon in the design. Rule number three. I have to randomize the gender of the character. Rule number four. I have to randomize the body type of the character. And rule number five. I have to randomize the age of the character. So here are the results. For the Pokemon, I got Politoed. So, I'm not gonna lie, I was super upset with this choice. <laughs> Mainly because like, he's super plain looking. So like, <laughs> when I was looking at his design, I had absolutely no idea what I was gonna do. I was afraid of getting like, the earlier gen Pokemon for this reason, don't get me wrong, I love them, but there isn't, there isn't a lot to work with there. They're kinda, they're kinda plain, don't get me wrong, like I said. They're always going to have a big a big place in my heart, but they're kind of plain looking. Anyway, anyway, before I start rambling. And then for the gender, I got female. For the body type, I got skinny. And then for the age, I got child. So what I'm trying to do is not really make these characters look like the Pokemon I'm using as inspiration. I want to create like a completely new character. Like if someone didn't watch this video and they looked at my design, I like I don't want them to be able to tell that I use like a Polytoe as inspiration, you know what I mean? Anyway, anyway, so here's the design. So let me break down the design. So obviously I used the color scheme of Polytoed. I did cheat slash not cheat and use like black and white cause like they're in his eyes, but you know, whatever, whatever. <laughs> Technically I didn't cheat. Technically I didn't cheat. Anyway. So first, I had to think of what I would want an archer in this fantasy world to look like. So I looked at a few pictures of medieval archer clothing. Some elements included in a lot of the pictures I looked at were minimal armor, usually some hoods or capes or tunics, and usually like long boots. So I went to add in those elements in some form to make this character look more like an archer. So right off the bat, I gave her a cropped hoodie. I also gave her a bit of armor on her arm and her chest. I gave her some boots, and originally her toes were showing, but I ended up like changing that and giving her closed-toed boots. So where is the influence from Polytoed, you might be thinking. I mean, other than like the color scheme. So like I said before, Polytoed is hella plain, so I really had to think about what I was going to do. Polytoad's design uses a lot of round shapes and curves, so I did a lot of rounded, curved details to the outfit. Most notably on the boots, um, her arm guards, and her like torso area. Oh, and um, on like on the top part of her skirt too. I gave her a cow look and a cow look. <laughs> I mean, I gave her a cow look inspired by Polytoad's little like his little like head swirl thingy. Um, I was gonna give her like little pink cheeks like Polytoed, but I ended up like changing the pink cheeks into barrettes later on, which I think looks a lot better. I also gave her um, a piece in the front of her outfit that kind of mimics like Polytoed's tummy. I also gave her like the swirl design on the tummy, but I changed it a bit to make it look more like fantastical. I based the bottom part of her shoes on like Polytoed's feet. And while I was drawing, I was thinking about frogs and environments that frogs and toads and, and the like are found in. And I somehow started thinking about lily pads. So I just kind of decided to use like a modified lily pad shape throughout the outfit. Most notably on her chest piece and her skirt piece. Anyway, let's get started on the final artwork. Now that I did my little concept art, I started to think about the character and how she would be. I got in my mind that she would be kind of quirky and mischievous, so I gave her a pose and expression I thought would reflect that. I also made her hair kind of wild and unkempt looking, which I thought fit her personality nicely. When I design characters, I try to visualize them um, to just kind of try to get a feel of how they would like pose and what type of clothing they would wear.
Also, straight up, I don't I don't ever think about the practicality of the outfits I design. <laughs> I've gotten some criticism for that in the past. But to be honest, like thinking about that kind of thing, like that kind of thing, it it honestly just takes the fun out of it for me. You know, like the way I feel about it is, well, like if I'm designing like real world characters, I will think about the practicality of their outfits to an extent. But if it's a fantasy character, I I'm just gonna do whatever the hell I want. <laughs> I'll add all kinds of crazy and, and unnecessary things. Cause you know, like in my opinion, that's that's how you get like interesting and unique fantasy characters. You know what I mean? Like if I wanted to have like a tiny child, I don't I don't know, like a tiny child ballerina character who is wearing like full plated heavy armor, I can do that and no one can stop me. <laughs> anyway, I'm rambling. <laughs> I can go on about character design forever. So let's get on to the next part of the video. color hair twice because the first way that I did it was interesting to say the least um the second attempt like 10 times better for sure for sure
So for the coloring this time, I tried a technique that I had messed around with before in the past and I really like how it came out. It looks more watercolorish to me, you know? So basically I just blended like a lot of the colors together and I got some really cool effects. The hair is my least favorite part, but I did learn a lot, like a lot, a lot while working on this illustration. I did mention a little before that this is going to be a five-part series in between the Janssen redesign series. So I will be designing a basic RPG fantasy character lineup. So I will be doing a an archer, a warrior, a mage, a cleric, and a rogue. And at the end of the series, I want to do like a cool illustration with all the five characters in it. I don't know, like <laughs> maybe like some uh, like fake promo art or like maybe like a like a fake cover for like a video game case or whatever that'd be like lots of fun
so I'm not even gonna lie, that like symbol on her um on her belly, like I had to draw that like like four or five times because I could just not get it right for some reason. Like in my concept art, it was so easy to draw, but when I actually had to draw it on the actual character, I, it just kept looking really weird. And I like I ended up changing it a little bit too, like I added those two little lines through it, just kinda make it, I don't know, like fancier looking, I guess. <laughs> like the blue part of her skirt is my favorite part of this picture because I did something a little bit different with it because usually when I shade my drawings I use like a shade um or like a, a shade blend layer with like a bluish gray to get like the the shadow but for the skirt I didn't actually use that I just ended up like mixing together um a light blue and a dark blue and I got like a cool like shadow effect so I just kind of kept it that way
Her birds are like this, like my second most favorite part. They came out so shiny and cute. I love them. And here's my archer character inspired by Politoed. So tell me what you think her name should be. Put some suggestions down below and I'll choose one and I'll reveal her name in the next video in this series. If any of you guys want to see more of my videos, just hit the subscribe button and click the little bell next to it to be alerted when I post. If you want to see more of my art, I have my socials up on the screen. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you like her. Bye, see you later.